And you're very welcome here to the showgrounds this evening where Sligo Rovers have rescued a well-deserved point against league champions Shamrock Rovers in the opening round of the League of Ireland season. The Rovers had started brightly, created a couple of chances, could have opened the score in early on, but it was 17 minutes on the clock when Graham Burke, the, with the Red Sea in front of him opening, uh, ran through the Sligo Rovers defence and put the ball coolly into the bottom corner despite the efforts of Luke McNicholas in the goal. It was a really ent entertaining game, end to end, both sides really going hammer and tongs at the attack and it would finish the first half at least 1-0 in favour of the visitors here. They really grew into it in the second half, but everything changed in on the dismissal of Pico Lopez. Uh, two players came together, Lopez and Keelan Barlow, down in the corner in front of the main stand in front of us here. Uh, didn't look too bad even on the replays, but the referee saw something that he didn't like, and it was the end of the evening and an early bath for Pico Lopez. And Sligo Rovers really came into the game. They took advantage of that extra man to really push Rovers to the hilt created chance after chance after chance and relied on Alan Manis making three or four phenomenal saves throughout the game to keep his side ahead but unfortunately for Manis and for the visitor Shamrock Rovers it was not to be tonight and Sligo Rovers took advantage of three or four injury time opportunities to push it through in the last stage and Lucas Browning hit a corner cleared half cleared to the edge of the box a really really good first touch for the debutante for the bit of red and he found the bottom corner Manus nothing he could do to send the 4,263 fans here in the showgrounds tonight in what was a fantastic evening for the home side into raptures and I'm sure John Russell will be very very happy with his charges this evening in a fine performance and a fine advert for the league from Breffney Early here for final whistle in the showgrounds final score one, up, one all Sligo Rovers and Shamrock Rovers one apiece <laughs>